everyone, my name is Jurassic Attic and welcome to my review of the LEGO Jurassic World Dominion Atrociraptor set. And without further ado, let's dive into it. Here we go! Before we take a look at the set itself, let's take a quick look at the packaging, which may I say looks absolutely great. I love that each set um, comes with a different dinosaur on the edge of the corner instead of just always being blue and Owen. I like that the dinosaur, uh, that the art represents the dinosaur in the set, and also gives us a good look at a new character called Rian. Ran. I don't know how to pronounce. I'm gonna go with Rian. In the back here, we have a quick glimpse of the set in action. So enough about the packaging. Let's get to the set itself, shall we? Let's go. The first thing I want to talk about is this small little cage that um, comes with the set. This is meant to hold the baby dinosaur. And before you ask, I don't know what species this is. This mold is supposed to represent baby raptors. But if you guys saw the new um, trailer, yeah, that, it, there's a baby Baryonyx and a baby Allosaurus in the fighting pen. And once it, we see uh, one of the action features, I'm just going to go on and say this is a baby um, Allosaurus. Now on into the main set itself, this was super, super fun to build. It was surprisingly quick too. And also it is surprisingly detailed. Like there is so much detail on this tiny, tiny set. Like I can pick up like, oh, that's a neat uh, detail. Oh, so that's, it's like a cool little architecture. Like honestly, I can go on a little bit on about this set. Um, but I don't want to drag this video longer than it should be. So I'm just going to say this is a great um, set with great detail for something very small. So, how about we look, take a look at, at that atrocity raptor, shall we? Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Lego could have easily um, gone cheap with us and just give us another uh, Velociraptor repaint. But no, Lego gave us a brand new mold for the atrocity raptor. And this atrocity raptor it, right here, her name is Ghost. And Ghost right here looks absolutely great. Um, sure, it's not the albino raptor from Jurassic Park 3, but hey, close enough. Different species, I'll take it. Um, honestly, I love the painting of the of the atrocity raptor, and I love the way Ghost looks in general. She's so eye-catching, and you can immediately tell who she's supposed to be. But she's basically got to be like the anti-blue but if you know the other atrocity raptors, there's an actual anti-blue, and you'll see what I mean later. <laughs> now, one of the play features this set has is on the back of the set, there are little, there's a little gear system that makes the little um, arena where the baby dinosaurs fight move. Kind of have being like, hey, look, they're fighting, they're fighting. Can you see it? They're fighting. And honestly, I just think that's a really um, cool touch. Honestly, for $20, you do get quite a bit for this set compared to other LEGO Jurassic World sets. Um, usually, I would nitpick this to death, but honestly, I don't have much to nitpick. I really don't. This is a generally fun set. And before we get to the final thoughts, let's take a quick look at the humans themselves, shall we? All right. Here we have Ryan and Owen, and Owen, I believe we already got him in different, so many sets. I don't know, <laughs> there are so many of them, I lost count. But Ryan, he's an interesting one. I like the way he looks, and I like his alternate face. It's just so expressive and animated. I absolutely love the, the secondary face and the little tattoo. Disappointed that it's just a random snake and not the Jurassic World logo. Missed opportunity. Now let's get into the size comparisons. Here we have Rian and Owen with the Atrocity Raptor. Here we have the three of them with Velociraptor Blue, the Lego Dino Triceratops. Here we have them with Dilophosaurus from Jurassic World. Here we have them with Camp Cretaceous Toro. Here we have them with a little baby Triceratops. And of course, the one and only Captain Jack Sparrow. Honestly, my final thoughts on this set, if you see this set, I highly recommend and pick it up. This was so much fun to build. This is just so much fun taking pictures of everything. And you get a, a lot for $20. Not with pieces, but with entertainment. And that's all that matters. And that's what, well, that's what it's meant to do. Entertain us. We use our imagination. 
And honestly, I can't wait to get the Tyrannosaur uh, Malta set to connect them together and make the ultimate Malta set. I have been Jurassic Attic, and I hope you enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys and gals later. Adios!